welcome back to the channel guys originally i was going to post a portland vlog because i went there last week i don't know if i got enough footage um and then i thought you know what i'm gonna make a sweatshirt collection video because i feel my collection has gotten pretty big probably gonna sell stuff off soon and i'll show you guys what happened because why not so literally yesterday this girl just like ran into me because she tried to make a left hand turn across four lanes of traffic and just ran into me right there so yeah now i need to get body work done i'm like not down bad i just kind of decided putting a couple more grand into this car is not worth it as much as i love it so probably gonna buy a new video so it makes it honestly perfect timing to make the collection video because the collection is about to get thinned out the other thing is also while i was in portland i kind of realized because there was a type 2 that i wanted to buy that like i really there's a lot of stuff in my wardrobe right now that like i don't wear and i don't really care about so i would just rather have like the amount of cash that i'm gonna get because a lot of it's worth a lot and it's really rare versus just having a ton of stuff so anyway that being said let's get into the video there's some pickups in this that you guys have not seen yet so it should be pretty good so like i said some of these are actually going to be for sale um i'm really just going to go through the sweatshirts that like are in the collection uh, there's sweatshirts that i wear like reverse weaves that i wear around that are like for sale on the website already but this is mainly just stuff i've been collecting and the really good ones so i'm not going to show just like 1080s reverse weaves um i guess what i'm trying to say but anyway this first one i'm definitely going to move on from is cool it got stuck on the hanger here it was cool to own this one um but it is a 50s russell arizona state sweatshirt definitely dead stock i honestly kind of think this one's kind of ugly but it's just like a wall piece for me just to look at um but yeah you can see that tag really cool tag great size and everything like i said dead stock it's just kind of ugly to me but like I said, cool to own because I went there and I like to collect vintage ASU stuff. That's probably my like number one sweatshirt grail right now is like an ASU double V or an ASU after hood or just any like pre 60s ASU sweat that looks cool and would fit me. Uh, this is like really the only one that I've found. And uh, yeah, like I said, not too in love with it. Probably gonna be posted soon. So if you're interested in it, check my website link down below the next one is the best sweat that i own uh, i've already done an in-depth review on this one but the world war ii u.s marine corps double v fits me perfectly i honestly love wearing this sweat it does have that really nice reverse weave knit um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get it all repaired. I just need to find somebody who can do, who has a machine who can do this stitch. Cause it's kind of, it's not like an overlock stitch, like a normal one. And it's literally on both sides. And that's like the number one thing for me is I want it to be consistent. Cause I, I need to get the neck repaired here. That's just like a double stitch though. And then right there would be nice too as well as like the cuffs i've showed this one off before there's a full video on it but um i'm pretty sure this one's on a duck's back blank now that's what somebody told me when they looked at it that it's probably on a duck's back blank um but yeah this one definitely not going to be selling it's kind of one of the ones that i don't think i could live without the only way I would probably move on from this is, like I said, if I get like an Arizona State one, then it's kind of, then it's kind of over for me, kind of hit it. Um, but anyway, on to another Arizona State one. Super basic, super essential ASU 80s reverse weave warm up. I've showed this one off before. I don't particularly like the fit of these, but this one fits pretty good. But yeah, super clean essential. Get my wares out of it uh, in the fall time. But anyway, on to the next one, which is a heavy hitter. I've just picked this one up. This one's... <sighs> All right. So this is another champion reverse weave. And you guys haven't seen this one. It was. It's going to be in the Portland video when I post it. 
I got this one off of Kissing Booth for a dumb, dumb steal. Um, cause it doesn't have the tag. So see, there's like a little bit of damage there on the cuffs, but that's literally it. Uh, but this is a 1960s champion expansion gusset, which is like the first reverse weave crew neck. And the way I know is like, cause I've been studying this thing since I got it. One is the style is the same as the other expansion gussets. It's got the art text and then the flat on the bottom for a school. And it, I mean, that graphic just looks really old. It doesn't look seventies to me. Um, and then you can see like on the neck here, like I can compare if there was a tag like this tag because a 70s or 80s one or a 90s one even would have this tag right here and to get it out you'd have to cut the stitching so there'd be a hole going through the back or there'd be stitching loose or there'd be a little bit of the tag left on the neck which there isn't because on the expansion gussets the tag would be like right about here and it's just stitched in so I guess that's the only weird thing is you can't see really where it was stitched in but honestly somebody might have like removed it the first time that they wore this thing and then washed it out so that's why you can't see where the stitching was um but yeah 100 percent a champion i can show you the other way i know too is just like because you can't there's ways you can tell like just by the stitching even if it's 80s or 70s and just by the material Cause these are the same color so it's a pretty good comparison but yeah you can see like i might have to take the i'm gonna take the hanger out so you can see a little bit better you can see the knit on this one is a little bit finer than the knit on this one so this knit is chunkier which is another reason that i know it's older but yeah i was super hype on it um, I wasn't really, like, it was literally just the last thing I did in Portland was I was like, eh, it's on my way back, I'm gonna stop by, see if they have anything, see if anybody wants anything from them that I can proxy for them, and lo and behold, expansion gusset in an XL, because it fits me perfectly, it's like a 23, 27, it is available on the site right now, because I'm not like a huge Clemson fan or anything, but yeah, super dope, sweat, um, but yeah crazy crazy find um so anyway on to the next one i think you guys have seen this one already i don't know if i've gone in depth but this is the hoodie i got off of tommy it's like a 40s thermal lined double face it's not an after hood somebody commented that the neck is just cut so that's kind of why it looks like an after hood all right my dog just got home from her walk so that's why i got uh distracted but yeah anyway great hoodie I, this is like another one in the pot of like i couldn't get rid of it um just because when i was in portland i wore this like every day super comfortable really great fit it's like got a super boxy oversized fit which i really like especially for my sweats and i just like the details because you can see the drop shoulder super super good drop shoulder um and yeah it's super comfortable probably gonna get that repaired but i don't know i'm kind of lazy um but yeah love this one not for sale fortunately uh next one another nfs but we have the i've lived in this hoodie for two years now uh, 80s champion reverse weave warm up Arizona State. It is a double X, and I had it altered. And honestly, a, a large ended up popping up. So, like, I don't know, kind of took an L just because it's such a good size. Because I could have gotten the large and been up, but it's whatever. It's got like really nice wear on the neck since I've been wearing it all the time. I do want to get a pocket put on it because the pocket was kind of like warped so that's why I didn't but yeah super essential champion hoodie I would definitely recommend these over something like a Russell just 
either go on eBay and wait it out for a steal or save your money and on Russell's because I've heard people I've heard of people paying like a hundred dollars for like 80s Russell hoodies it's just ridiculous because you could get a reverse weave warm up for I don't know probably like 200 is what I price mine at um but yeah super essential one of my favorites just with the super clean college spell out can't go wrong and then we're already on to the last two because I don't really have a huge sweatshirt collection but they are bangers more reverse weave warm up hoodies obviously this one uh, I've showed on the channel before it's University of Wisconsin Eau Claire track 1979 player number one and of course it is on the one color large love the wear on this one I do wear this one a lot honestly it's kind of been my go-to hoodie for a minute I think I will probably post it for sale but like it would be a lot but it fits perfectly and honestly I do prefer these to the 80s ones they feel a little bit more softer and I feel like the fit is a little bit better than the 80s ones um but they do cost a lot more than the 80s ones so yeah but it's just a nice faded out navy colorway see the knit on the inside um but yeah and it's a cool graphic honestly most of the time these are like a wing foot or something like that or something like the next one i'm going to show you which is i'm just going to close out the video but yeah super essential haven't decided like i'll, sh I'll show you because i'm thinking i'm going to post both of these and then whichever one doesn't sell i might keep because they f both fit me pretty good but this one such a banger I bought this one in Portland uh, at the flea. I got a good price. I did pay up a little bit, but it's whatever. Um, but you can see Champion Reverse Weave Warm Up on that one color tag. It's tagged a medium, but it fits a true large, which is nice because normally Champion fits pretty small. If this one was more burned out, honestly, I definitely would just not consider selling it. Um, but it is super clean, so that's kind of why. See, it's got the Sheldon. This is another track one. So 1977, number seven. That's what that is. But it's cool because it's 777. Um, yeah, forest green, really nice colorway, really nice size and everything. And it's so soft. Like, you can see the knit in there. Like, it's super, super soft. Just because it has not really been worn. And the funny thing is, uh, the guy I got this off of, like, I saw him at the bins, and I was going to off the back him for it, and then I just bought it at the fleet, but, yeah. Super essential hoodie, obviously. But, yeah, I'm kind of deciding. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which one should I keep. This one or this one. But, yeah. Anyway, that is the video for today. That is my sweatshirt collection. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to be posting some personals on the website link down below. And uh, if you want to be up to date on that, follow my vintage Instagram. I don't respond to business DMs on my personal because a lot of people have been asking me about stuff on my personal. I just don't reply. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have an amazing day.